Doesn't your brother think I'm hot though? Have, he like was down. Well, I don't talk to him about. <laughs> but he knew. It was no, he wanted. Hot. Yeah, he wanted to apply. He wanted to apply though. He did tell us he was going to. Like in a serious way. Yes. Wow. Why haven't you just hooked it up then? Why did we do all this? Why didn't you just be like, oh, like Eli's brother wanted to see you? I'd be like, yes. He doesn't want to marry you necessarily. How do you know? Hi, I'm Ethan's Basement, and every time the H3 podcast takes a break, I make videos explaining some of the deep lore of the H3 universe. First off, I want to address the fact that my voice is different. The reason for the change is that I don't want my channel to eventually face issues because I'm using Ethan's voice for my videos. It will also spare me from receiving dozens of comments on each video telling me that I sound just like Ethan. Now, without further ado, let's dive into the main topic of the video. With the third season of The H3 Bachelor just wrapped up, I wanted to revisit the first seasons of that show. For those who might not remember, Dan has often mentioned that this idea of a show seemed to always end before it even really started, and this was the case for Trisha's season. I'm, well, the I'm show a, is off. I'm canceling it. <laughs> the Bachelorette is over. In this lore video, we're diving into how Trisha, in a way, both ruined and won the second season of The H3 Bachelor. We're also going to look at how Trisha and Moses first got in touch, and Ethan and Gila's reaction when they found out about it. I also won't delve too deep into the Frenemies era and its downfall because there's already enough YouTube videos about that. We'll be focusing on what led up to Frenemies, and how Trisha was supposed to date a fan of the podcast, but ended up marrying the host's brother-in-law. It all began when Ethan made a video on their former channel, H3H3 Productions, mocking Trisha and edited photos he came across of her. This led to them connecting and Trisha being invited to the podcast. The dynamic between her and Ethan was so well received by fans that she was invited back for a second appearance. This time the concept of reviving a season of The Bachelor to find love for Trisha was introduced. She was excited by the idea, so they invited podcast fans to submit their applications to potentially become Trisha's future partner. And the reason that Trisha is joining us today is, as you all know, Ian's had a season of The Bachelor with an H3 instead of a it's a capital H and a three, Bachelor. Love that. <laughs> and so Ian actually found true love on a season. We had some ups and downs. We had uh, some controversies. But in the end, Ian has been dating a girl for how long, Ian? Uh, for about since last September, around there, October. Since last September, you look Wow. Oh. So, so he's in. He's he's in love. He, and he met but, him on the show. Yes. Yeah. So the sh the show works. <laughs> wow. Oh, I didn't the know show this. worked. Oh, I had no idea this was a thing. Already. And so we take this very seriously. Love is very important to me and Ela and uh, our community. And um, we thought Trisha Paytas. Now that's the next season of The Bachelorette. <laughs> that has to be. It could be really awful. So Trisha's here to basically introduce. No, it will not. It will be incredible. I'm gonna ruin like all these people's lives. Such as one what guy. It's like multiple guys. <laughs> How do you? How would you ruin someone? Got some guy's life? I don't know. I literally met someone like last, like a couple months ago, and I was with him for like ten days, and like ruined his life. And he tells me that all the time, and I have Why? no idea. Oh, what'd you do to him? I think just a lot of maybe like psychological manipulation, maybe. Oh God! <laughs> so you want a mature guy, a guy with a job, a guy who knows a little about himself. Job is important. You want a guy with his own money. Okay. Two ends of the spectrum. I think this is where my split personality comes in. I don't think I have one. Well, anyways, if I do have a split personality, this is where it is. So I think, like, either I need someone really super rich, successful, crazy, just going to take care of me. I no longer have to masturbate on OnlyFans. Or I want someone broke, so desperate, and needs me, needs to suck everything out of me. Like, yes, Trisha, whatever the fuck you want, I got it for you. You want a slave? <laughs> you want to be either dom or sub in the extreme. <laughs> yeah. A dominant or submissive? Yeah. Okay, I see. So e anything, really. So people should well, not it, apply if they're younger than 35? Right. Not really. And you're hard on no, that. No, 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 no. That's know, a you, pretty we, come tough. on. We, we got to see Oof. what's out there. Let's say 25. 25. You might get a nice little twink like Ian. Ew. <laughs> I don't want anyone that looks like you're inter Are they interns or are they employees? I don't know. I don't want any of that. Ian's the only. Well, no. Ian's is health. They're all full-blown uh, salaried employees with health insurance. I don't want that. <laughs> Look, I mean. Right. So, Dan. No. <laughs> rate Dan on zero to ten. No! Because last time I got pissed at you for doing this, and I'm still pissed about it. What did we rate? <laughs> Me! <laughs> you oh, exactly. Well, now you get her. the now you get revenge, so. All ones. All ones. Ooh. 
but I'm a 10. You're the 10. <laughs> and is it half, what is it about me that's a 10? I would say a 9 today. Oh. I think you went down a point. Oh, why oh, is that? Wow. Um, I think your hair is too long. He does need a haircut. Yeah. Interesting. Like, Height, you like a tall guy, but you're open. I'm open. Weight, chubby, skinny? Anything, I'm not. Anything. <laughs> uh-huh. You're open to anything. I get a lot of skinny guys, which is not my type, but like I get a lot of skinny, but I like chubby. Muscular? I'll take a muscle guy. Sure. You like it all. I like it all. Okay, great. <laughs> uh, what's your dream occupation? For them? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I think you have to be like a billionaire CEO or no occupation. Or just a <laughs> fucking deadbeat. Yeah, like unemployed. So why don't you, why don't you like these guys? Because they work. They have jobs. They have jobs. <laughs> you want someone who's just going to be a t- totally dependent on you. So anyone who's thinking about applying, quit your job. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. We have a, we're going to have a lot of applicants. You're saying tiny dick, any size. <laughs> no job. This is gonna be great. But I also <laughs> that's really, our demo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I also like. I do like. I, I do like a guy that's like super rich too. I, I don't want in between. Is what I'm saying. I don't like mediocre. Or anything. Okay. Okay. There you go. One have extreme it. or the other. So you have to be extraordinary shitty human being. <laughs> no prospects. Or uh, Tony yeah. Stark. Right. Uh, personality. Yeah. What's your ideal personality? Um, funny. Funny. Mm-hmm. I like a funny guy. So if you're not funny, if you don't have a good sense of humor. Don't don't get. If yeah. you're a serious person, I don't think a ser- many serious people would be interested in you to begin with. No, I don't think so either. Well, not a lot of people are interested in me. Period. To begin with, so it might be hard. I'm scared. No one's I gonna disagree. apply. No, I disagree with you. I... Oh yeah, it took you guys a minute, huh? Uh, did you guys do IVF? Yeah. No, no, all natural. It just had. It just happened all of a sudden, but it took a while. And you didn't do anything different? No. Two years, right? No, not two. Uh, I mean, well, One maybe year. like a year and a half. Oh really? But. Well. Wow. I mean, may, since I, I stopped taking the pills, but we weren't like actively trying, trying right. for the whole time. You know what I mean? I remember because you guys would talk about that. And I was like, oh, my God, that's the same thing that's happening to me. And then you got pregnant. I was like, what the fuck? I hear it happens. I feel like maybe that'll be me. I just haven't had sex in two months. So it's not me. <laughs> Please, wait, you first of all, you, you didn't trying? have a spouse. Who are you trying to get pregnant from? I mean, just anyone will come inside you. <laughs> but really, do you need the consent of the man? Yeah, I tell them. Oh, people ask me, like, are you on birth control? I'm like, no. They're like, ah, oh, okay. So you want some guy to knock you up? The ones I choose. So, like, there was a guy I was, like, in love with, like, a couple months ago. And I was like, oh, you can just come inside me. And I told him, I was like, I don't, I'm not on birth control. But, you know, also, like, I feel like a certain people at a certain age are just like, okay, I'll be able to have a baby. And so, the submissions began to pour in. The fans had 30 days to prepare their best video in hopes of catching Trisha's attention and making her interested in taking things further with them. As we come to the close here, Trisha Paytas, I'm so excited. That's going to be, by the way, I have oh to say, God. podcast at hdproductions.com. Get your applications in because we're coming to a close here, right? The deadline, what is, uh... uh we actually, no, we have more time. Uh, we had said March 7th, which is, uh... Not this Sunday, but the following Sunday. March 7th. Okay, That's so it's like cutoff. a week. You have one week. We have one more week. And then the following but, week we're But bringing... you wanted to have her on that Friday? Because that would be before the week is over? Yeah, no, no not Trisha no. this coming Friday. Okay. It would be the, the next week. Got yes, it. exactly. So she's going to come in on the 13th. We're going to review the applications that we've received, which according to these guys are incredible. And I'll wait. I've, I knew it would be pretty good. You... People that have submitted, you're really, you're bringing it. It's, we've got some That's really, amazing. really well, fucking amazing applications. This is so exciting, yeah. seriously. And what, let me just say that since the competition is high, is if you want to win this girl's heart, you better come hard with your video. You have one week left, you guys. And she said that she is intending to marry. <laughs> this is what I wanted to say. Okay. She tweeted, please only apply to H3 if you intend to marry me in the following 30 days. Okay? So, I mean, hello. Only 30 days. That's a third of what 90 Day Fiance gives you. In the upcoming episode where Trisha returns to the studio, it's a special Bachelorette episode where they'll review all the video submissions they received for her. By the way, so today we continue the Bachelorette (laughs) round two. We have for you, Trisha, um, we have 23, 24 video applicants for you to choose through today. And you should be happy to know we had well over 200 applications. Is that right, Dan? Uh, Yeah, yeah. Even maybe even a little bit more than that. People were uh, banging at the door. (laughs) They wanted a piece of Trisha Paytas. 
<laughs> so you should be very flattered. You're in high demand. But I am actually. I'm really surprised. Not just saying this. Like I'm surprised. Like anyone even <clears throat> did a video. Well, we've got a lot, and I'm I'm excited <laughs> because I haven't seen these. These guys went through it. They made a short list for us all to review. I haven't even seen these, so I've oh. th these are good. Yeah, I've Ooh, been I'm insured. These are really good. Oh um, my god, I'm nervous. And are they ever going to come in in person or no? Yes, of course, absolutely. So eventually they come in. Yeah. So the next round, <laughs> we are going to choose the ones that you like. I'm hoping it's around 10, but I'm not going to be so strict. The ones you okay. don't like, we're going to eliminate okay. viciously with prejudice. What's with prejudice mean? Just say, just make them feel like regret even submitting a video. <laughs> no, we're not going to be no, mean. No, I'm kidding. You're nice. I'm just kidding. <laughs> You're mean. But yeah, well. Um, but not today. <clears throat> not today, of course. Not today. Um, <laughs> you look healthy. Oh, thank you. You look great. Have oh, you lost how much you weight? So have much. you lost? Oh, my God. Oh. We should do the final episode in Israel. <laughs> we should do what? Of the Bachelorette. The final episode of the Bachelorette my mom would in love Israel. It. How about Motel 6? <laughs> I mean, down for that too. I'll take whatever. Well, you know, I'm just, just, I'm just thinking what's in the budget, but tell me. Every every Jewish. How about a cruise a to China? Huh? How about a cruise to China? <laughs> would you go on a cruise with you the winner? You want to kill me, don't you? <laughs> no, but I mean, it would be interesting to vlog a cruise for two. That's what we were thinking. The winner be anywhere you want. Oh you want, really? You can go for a ten, twenty day cruise. Wait, we get a prize after all this? Absolutely, we got to send the two winners on a vacation. Wait, actually? Yeah, a cruise. <laughs> A 20 day cruise. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm so. Are you being serious? I'm 100% yes. serious. I want to go to what is that place called with the penguins up north? What is that? Uh, Greenland? What's that good on it? No, Antarctica. Oh, that's in the south, honey. Sweetie. No, it's not. <laughs> Antarctica is south. Antarctica, where the penguins are. Well, I guess direction is relative. Up. But I think yeah, Antar keep going north in one direction, you'll get there eventually. Well, <laughs> Antarctica could only be Went considered north if you're in Antarctica. <laughs> this segment was very long, so I won't show all the videos, especially since we already know none of these participants ended up with Trisha. Instead, I'll directly show you Trisha's reactions to the various applicants who were selected for the show. I'm like not serious. You think he's not? Like these people just want you to like. Think they're funny and have them on as like a guest you know they want to be like a person on h3 they need to find the good balance of being entertaining mm -hmm. and serious yeah just like show your personality they don't want to date me and i feel like we said well, that like i'm not okay, sure okay let's move on okay let's move on we, have, we a have a lot yeah we're not wasting any time <laughs> um let's see here i was like hoping maybe like papa john would apply or something like that's who papa i was john. banking on for you guys <laughs> since you're h3 h3 dude we have good ones why are you, you? Where? Dude, the, you're, you've been like 10 out of 10 turned on at the the last guy. Yeah, I'm picking like the best of the... Are you seriously complaining about all these young men throwing themselves at you? Come on. <sighs> all right, you're right. Thank you guys for applying. It's very sweet. Oh, so this guy's apparently <laughs> I, famous. I am picky. Richie. Well, we have, we Richie. have finalists. Richie who? Richie, a.k.a. Social Repost. Do you know him? Oh, yeah, you know him. I, He's a YouTuber. He's a famous YouTuber. Well, he applied. What do you know about him? <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> Nothing. Did he really? Yes, he said, hi, uh, I did a little video for you. Here's the unlisted link. He's a cheater, but that's fine. He cheated on a famous YouTuber. He has one million subs. He's emo. Oh, no, I'm scared. Holy <laughs> shit. Oh, <what? laughs> is this what you expected? He did videos about me before. Like, he oh, videos about oh, me. Geez. My name is Richie from Social Repose. So we have, in the, in the end, we have six finalists. Wow. Six? Yeah. That's pretty good. Is it? Okay. We've got uh, the Fred submitted my Nico. Anyway, we don't need to read Can it, I just but, say, uh, yeah, I ahead. thought, I don't know if I can say this, and you can cut it if I'm not supposed to say this, but I was li like low-key hoping, because originally I was pitched the idea to come on as a contestant, <laughs> and Ela's brother's going to be the bachelor, and then I thought maybe he would apply to be on my bachelor. He was he supposed to. I don't know what happened. happened. He I said that Instagram, he wanted to apply. So I found his Instagram. It's fine. I'll just we could take a last-minute su uh, submission. I don't he know said he, he wanted to. I think he's he's honestly super busy. He's like a fucking mega hard work. He's like a... He should make time though, right? He should make, he should make time. He looked so hot. I was like low key impressed. I was like, holy shit. Let, we'll make he like he, he's like strikingly hot. Okay, we'll make sure he gets in. We'll take a last minute. Is he from Israel? Mm hmm. But he lives here. Hot. In LA. Super successful. Long hair. I love it. <laughs> I looped him up. You get a chance to fuck <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That's what he looked like. Oh, and he's Jewish. He's, yeah. Fuck. Okay, we'll make sure we get that. Ah! Uh, 
hot. He's so hot. If not, we can just also hook up. We don't have to date. Oh my god. If your brother <laughs> fucked, <laughs> Ooh, that'd be fun. I don't. Th- oh my Let's god. not have him as a contestant. Let's just meet. No, no, no. He's got to come to the no, show. No, why? Because then it's like a same. DM him. It doesn't matter. <laughs> he's gonna tell us. You can't. You guys can't get past us. <laughs> If we fuck, he's gonna tell you. I don't think so. Yeah, he will. Ooh, I love that. No, I really. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> so, so we have six strong contestants. We're possibly seventh with Ela's brother. <laughs> We're gonna get a last minute. So that's exciting. So, yeah. in um, probably two weeks, we're gonna contact the winners. We're going to set everyone up, and then we're going to bring you back in, okay. and we're going to give each of them a three minutes to impress you on Skype. You guys are going to have a conversation, a speed dating. Three minutes. Or five. Mm-hmm. Should I come dressed up? Should I get like a... Like a, like a... I mean, it's you're always you. dressed up. Yeah, it's, all, it's no, up I to you. I want to come up like bachelorette status, like with a like a nice dress and my hair done, like updo. Do whatever you like. Yeah, I'm going to come fancy for them. So, do you want three or five minutes to have a one-on-one blind date? Because I just feel like five minutes could get awkward. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? I think a three minute is good. Maybe you should have an abort button. You can be like, <laughs> if it gets too awkward, you can abort. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, got it. Well, you thought like abort, I Jen? think you meant like if, they, if I want an abortion with them or not. I was like, oh, I don't know. That's like a hard thing to say. I mean, I'm pregnant. yeah, we didn't quite get there yet. <laughs> Sorry. Let's wait for the crews to decide on Does that. Does your brother think I'm hot, though? It was at this moment that Trisha first mentioned she wished Moses, Hila's brother, had applied for the show. She had heard about him briefly and was secretly hoping he would participate. Does uh, your brother think I'm hot though? Have, he like was down. Well, knew, I don't talk to him about. <laughs> but he knew what it was. No, he wanted. Hot. Yeah, he wanted to apply. He wanted to apply though. He did tell us he was going to. Like in a serious way. Yes. Wow. Why haven't you just hooked it up then? Why did we have to do all this? Why didn't you just be like, oh, like Ela's brother wants to see you? I'd be like, yes. He doesn't want to marry you necessarily. How do you know? Oh, because he's Jewish. Well, I don't know. No. All right, come on. Well, come on. I Let's don't move. Know. I really don't know. So, I know that he said that he was going to apply. Actually. We're gonna. How old is that's he? all I know. He is older. Or older he's, he's over 10 years old. 40, right? He's 42. Shut up. <laughs> that's literally my type, and he looks so good. Like I look He definitely doesn't younger. look 42. Holy fucking shit. We'll make that's sure true. we get his application <laughs> in. Now okay? I am drenched, so you might smell oh, it. Oh, stop. <laughs> Are you really? But why? You, we just were talking about I, it. I was looking but at your le- your leg <laughs> I have a giant no, dress but, on. I don't know. I don't want to listen. <laughs> well, yeah, this is excited. We'll get we'll get Moses in here too. <laughs> now, Moses. That's oh. his name, yeah. Fuck that name. That's crazy. Okay. Imagine so, fucking Moses. Holy shit. And he looks like Jesus. The hell of a thing. <laughs> like write the so, commandments on my pussy. <laughs> sorry, what was that? What did she say? I don't know. I'm Where's Teddy? Bring him. <laughs> Where is he? He's at the house. He's at the house. You have like a babysitter? His mom. No, he's taking care of himself. <laughs> you won't let me be a babysitter. Me and Moses. Stop. <laughs> me and Uncle Moses and Aunt Trisha. All right. Dude, oh my God. I'm really excited. You have no idea. I got really excited about that. So we see that Trisha's interest was primarily in Moses rather than the participants. And after this episode, something happened that changed everything. I, I was saying that the last thing we knew, right, was that they made a contact in the DMs. That was it? Yes. When COVID began to spread and a quarantine was suggested for all residents, The Bachelorette Show was put on hold. The podcast continued in Ethan and Gila's basement due to the lockdown, and they mentioned that there had been developments regarding Trisha, who made contact with Moses, suggesting it was probably the end of The Bachelor before it could even move to the second stage of the show. What happened was that we had a power outage for a full day here mm-hmm. during quarantine, by the mm-hmm. way, and it was raining outside. So that was, we the, like, was that the worst? The worst. We were quarantined. We had no power, no reception, no internet, and rain outside. and raining. We were it, literally just sitting during in the, the night. Dark. It was just it was just dark, <laughs> and I literally just slept out of boredom. <laughs> Have you ever just slept because you're so bored? <laughs> anyway, anyway. Next day, the, the internet comes back up. We open our phones, open Twitter, and this is what we see. No, no, nobody message us. Your brother, Nothing. first of all, I have to, I have to tell you that I don't know what he's up to. Right. And I I'm don't not, know. This anything. isn't some inside joke. Like, no. look at the way he's looking at. The, so this is what Trisha posted. Look at his face. What is he doing? It's like he's he's like he's uh, goofing on us. 
Like, look. Well, it's hard to tell. Nice you, place, by the way, for Trisha. Nice view. You can't tell. I Hollywood don't know. Hills, by it the could way. be just him smiling. Bro, what are you doing? What are you doing? You know what's my biggest fear right now? Is that this actually becomes serious because Trisha kept trying to come over to our house and babysit <laughs> Theodore. It's not happening. Is that she's going to end up finding a way to come over to our house because she's Moses' girlfriend. No. She's not allowed over. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this isn't even the worst of it. And by the way, I go, well, obviously, I immediately go to Moses and I'm like, dude, what's, what the F is this? And he's so cryptic. Now, all of a sudden, he's not telling me what's up. Yeah. He's being super cryptic. And like he goes, oh, yeah, we hung out a few times. And I go, that, tell, and I keep pressing, and he's, he will not give it up. So both of these people promised me to keep the bit 100 billion with me. Yes, they promised. Like I'm most disappointed in your brother, Trisha, whatever. You uh we sh you know, we serve at her pleasure. I mean, you don't know which ver which personality is showing up on which day. <laughs> I'm just happy when she comes in. I mean, I expected her to us. to uh work within the guidelines too. Your brother though is on our side and now I don't know whose side he's on. Right. Well, it gets worse. Um, there's more. We were see these on her Instagram stories in bed with somebody. Yeah. And, see and an we arm. see a hand and I'm like, again, cryptic. I think that's his, I think it's his arm. It looks it could like be. it. It definitely is. But the evidence piles on as we continue <sighs> forth here. She yes. posts uh, pictures of, she says, quarantine date night. Okay. Now, okay. so let's just, so, okay. This is a separate day. So whoever this is, has come back to her house, a date night. She calls it a date night. And whoever it is brought dinner, which by the way, looks like quite a fancy dinner too. If I'm being, uh, if I'm uh, being honest, that mm -hmm. looks good. I'm very hungry. Go ahead, Eagle. You want to talk about your discovery? Yes. Now, Ethan put this in our document with like question mark, not knowing if it's my brother. Well, I know my brother. And I immediately spotted his stickers on the table. He does artwork with water and he has stickers that he always will give people. And I have those stickers myself and I know those stickers when I see it. That's definitely my brother. Oh, those are definitely his stickers. There's, well, at first I was looking at his hand. I was like, is that Moses? Right. But the stickers, that's it. There's that's no it. question. He has a big role. I know about this role. He has a huge role of stickers of his water art. And that's that's off his role. So he's hanging out with her now more, not telling us. I'm like, yo, what's yes. going on with Trisha? Downplaying it. But now here we go. To now, I even wonder if he put it there on purpose. And that's what I was wondering right now, too. But I don't think so because... First of all, the show's on hiatus. Nobody knows what's the depth of this uh, Bachelorette saga yes. now. So what exactly is he playing to? Also, I don't think that Trisha, Trisha, she's not, she's not conniving. She just wants to fuck Moses. So is Moses playing Trisha and us? Mm -hmm. And some weird, mm -hmm. what's, what's he trying to get at? I think he likes her and he won't admit it. Maybe. <laughs> I think your brother actually likes her and he he's embarrassed to admit it, which is fine. By the way, I was like, look, me and Ela were talking about this because we're just so perplexed by it. And we go, look, a lot of reputable, successful, seemingly normal people have dated Trisha. So, what do you I mean, mean, well, she's, she's, not, she's not my type, but clearly a lot of guys <laughs> like to would like to date her. Yes. And so I think your brother is embarrassed to admit that he actually. I likes don't know her. why he's embarrassed if that's the case. Well, if we're if they are dating or whatever, she's gonna be pissed when she watches this. So the truth is gonna come out because she's gonna be like Moses, Moses, why are you embarrassed? Why don't you tell them that we're dating? And so now Moses is about to meet one of her nasty personalities that he didn't get yet. I will sabotage this relationship. I don't give a fuck <laughs> because you both fucked us. And I don't give a shit right now. <laughs> so then just yesterday she tweets in Hebrew. Yeah, what what is that supposed to mean? What does it say, Ila? Auva. Auva. It either means my love to but you would say it to me because it's like addressing a female. 
Right. Because so if you wanted to say my love to me, you mm-hmm. would say ova. Oh, but the they, the Americans don't um, understand gendered. So she words. either meant to write it for my brother, and she made a m- mistake on gender, or she definitely meant it for your brother. Why all of a sudden I mean, she's another, tweeting Hebrew? Another way you could use it is to say loved, ova, like I'm loved I think she by meant people, s- but I don't think she did. She's obviously trying to say she loves your brother in Hebrew. There's no other explanation. Yeah. But then this is the final straw for me. <laughs> This happened around the same time, the same day. She says, I don't know if I'm in love or just bomb ass dick. So I have to ask you, Ela, at this point. I feel like that one feel? was like that one, especially. I think she's doing it to me on purpose. You think so? Because why do you have to say that? Well, that's Trisha. She always says shit like that. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear it either. I don't want to hear that at all. It's horrifying. So how do you feel about your brother having apparently bomb ass dick? I don't want, I don't, nothing. It's fucked it up. I hate it. I hate everything about it. But it, this start, by the way, Moses, if you go back to the first photo where Moses is grinning into I, the camera, he's the one holding the photo. phone. He's the one holding the phone. He is complicit in all of this. So you start here and you go, uh, all the way down to tweeting he has bomb ass dick on Twitter. He's complicit in all of it. He can't ever say this ran away from him because he took this photo. Mm-hmm. I don't know, dude. I don't, I like don't know. I'm, well, the I'm show a, is off. I'm canceling it. <laughs> the Bachelorette is over. We have this is not even a wild and card. It's not situation. fair for all the people who applied. I agree. Actually, it's totally unfair. It's outrageous. And let me just say that as a host, I'm disappointed. This will never happen. The Bachelor is over. <laughs> it's cursed. It's so <laughs> cursed. Well, at least you know in Ian's case, he did yeah, find true love. Right. Something beautiful. This is off. This is a beautiful. <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> in this case our life is ruined what about Moses let me ask you what about the story about someone I don't want to demean her work but what about her appearances on her show made you want to date her um I think I don't think I, I could see I mean, I guess I it's her it body, I... probably, first of all. A lot of people would be attracted to if think that's so? their type. Thicker than a snicker, as they say. Right. With they... some bolted-on titties to boot. <laughs> See, this is outrageous because I've and seen then... your... Do, do you understand, Moses, that the girl you're apparently dating has sent me, personally me, tweeted at me pictures of her vagina? Right. Do you understand what I you're doing? I think that's a problem. Do you, un- do you even understand? <laughs> she, the girl that you're apparently <laughs> dating, which you think is funny, wanted to have a thruple with your sister right. and your brother-in-law. True. Do you that's understand what you're that's doing? That's a problem if I ever saw one. She had double chlamydia, Moses, at one point. Just saying. She does have a very interesting background. Her stories are very interesting. I just want to say that. That's not a question. <laughs> I'm just upset. I maybe I'm saying I'm, I'm being upset. rude. I'm upset too. The thing is, I've 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 grown to uh, like Trisha quite right. a bit. Right. Me too. Which is why I'm even more upset because I wanted to sh- the this show. This I don't like to work out. This I don't like. I don't like it. I'm sending now. I really want to send their ass on a cruise. <laughs> I don't know what to make of this. I really don't. So it's like canceled. I guess we're just going to have to get them both on a call. We're going to have to maybe on Zoom. Zoom. <laughs> I don't know. If this call we should do on Zoom. We're going to have to get them and just get, we're going to have to debrief this. But I don't think we can ever do The Bachelor again. No, it's just cursed. It's cursed. Yeah. The curse of The Bachelor is real. Do you understand? And it's affecting us personally. I think this is only the beginning, Ethan. You think this is only the beginning? He's going to get worse? Because I don't know yet <coughs> I what disavow is the this. nature of this relationship. Well, I disavow it. And please stop posting. Why do you have to post pictures on Twitter? Just keep it private, dude. I know you fuck people privately, Trishik. Why can't this be private? Why do you have to post pictures of Ela's brother on Twitter? I don't get that need to be social about it. Um. Right? I'm kind of glad that we're. This is happening during quarantine time because I wasn't gonna see my brother anyway for a little while. After this, 
because we're in quarantine anyway. I know. But because I don't know how to handle it yet. <laughs> yeah, we need some time. <laughs> we're going to need some time. And, you know, he said he was just going to get involved as a goof. But now all of a sudden there's no goof and he's just fucking her every day. <laughs> and they're tweeting about it. I don't need that shit in my life, bro. Just showing up in my timeline. All right, let's get out. Let's get off this. But Trisha and who ruined it? Was it Trisha or Moses? I personally blame Moses. I think it's a group effort, a thruple effort. Yes. Well, because she's the one who's she keeps pushing it with those tweets too. She, I think she knows those tweets are gonna get us. <laughs> I think Moses is putting her up to it too. I think they think it's funny. Um, maybe. Who knows? But. If they didn't fuck, there's almost zero percent chance they didn't fuck. Yeah, I don't, cause she, no, there's no. There's zero. I mean, based on what she's saying and posting. But also, she said on the podcast that if she's hanging out with a guy, she'll fuck them. Like there's just <laughs> right. no question. Just a hundred percent. Right. She did say that. All evidence is pointing that it did happen. Ethan and Gila didn't know much. All they saw were cryptic hints from Trisha and Moses on social media without being able to get in touch with them. They didn't know what to make of it, but were very perplexed by the situation and hoped to get at least an explanation from them. Among the various hints on their social media, Trisha occasionally mentioned that she was learning Hebrew words or simply showing interest in Jewish culture. Trisha and Moses, Gila's brother and Trisha Paytas, the saga continues. Oh Who's yeah. Saying? We're just going to have to get them on a call because this whole thing is just, it's its irritating. Me. And your brother, I have to say, he's so unforthcoming with us that it's its irking me. It really is irking me because he always goes, he goes, oh, it was just, you know, it was the quarantine and my place got broken into and I didn't have anyone to stay with. And I was like, okay. But I know your, but I know your brother's not like that. Your brother's like self sufficient. He can, he's he's not like, oh, I need to, can I stay with you? My place got broken into. Right. You know, he, if he he could stay with us. Yeah. You wanted to fuck Trisha. He won't just admit that. Admit he won't just it. tell me that he wants to fuck Trisha or that he likes her. And then he goes, and then he goes, it's over. And I'm not. It's not even that I'm upset that they're together. I just want him to tell me what's happening. Mm -hmm. So then he, I think he thinks that like I don't want him to be with her or something, and that's not. I just want him to tell me the truth. So Trish is fucking with us. Obviously, you uploaded this video. I think it was yesterday. Um, Line for you guys. Um, I'll teach you Hebrew. We will just kind the of go alphabet. With Hebrew word of the day, phrases. But we'll start with the Moses is tied up is crying behind the, the camera alphabet. right now. That's the top comment. So the alphabet goes in Hebrew as follows: Aleph, Bet. She's only dating w. Moses so she can get close to Dalit. Ethan and Ela. Hey, Fav. Fav. Zion. What's Fav? Vav. Oh, Vav. Okay, yeah. Yen, Chet, Tet, Yud. Ka, Lamet, Mem, Nun, Somek, Ayan. What's Somek? <laughs> Samech. Oh, Somech. Samech. <laughs> so, um. I, I sent this to Moses. I say, dude, you think she's trying to say something here? <laughs> like, what's going on? Again, I'm not angry. I just want to know what's up. And he goes, he says, oh, she learned it all on her own. I was really impressed. That's all he said. I was like, do you think that there's anything weird about the fact that she just uploaded a video said, I'll teach you Hebrew? He's like, oh, yeah, no, no, that's just, you know. Like, he won't say anything, and that's what's pissing me off about this whole thing. What do you think, Hila, about all I really don't know. Um, and then he told us that it was over, and then she still posted a picture with him. But that's the thing. I don't so, care if he's fucking her. I just don't know why he's lying to us. Yeah. Well, I don't... Because is... Ian, it's stuck on, like, a goofy-ass face. <laughs> what the fuck? You <laughs> <laughs> um, get disconnected? Here, I'll... I'll Oh, but but what what do you think? It is he's a good not, question. It's not really lying. He's not saying the truth. It's though. lie by omission. He's avoiding saying anything. 
Here's another one. Amazing sex during quarantine. This is Moses. I wonder who she's talking about. Moses is coming in. Hey, guys, what is up? Just admiring my new physique from having so much freaking sex. Okay, hey, guys, what's up? Um, sex during the quarantine, you guys. Like, this is a thing. This is a problem. This is happening. Like, I started the quarantine. Luckily, I went on a first date, and that first date, we smashed right away, and we just decided to quarantine together. So, yeah. Smashed on the first date. I don't date. know what she means by that. Does she mean that he's living with her? Because that's not what he told us. Well, I think what she means is that they're like they're in the circle, like in the New York health. That, <laughs> you know, yeah. they can rim together. No rimming. Oh, what is this? She's got the she's got the bejeweled Febreze, bro. Look at this. Oh, she does. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> she has the Chloe Kardashian bejeweled Febreze. Where'd she get that? Trisha, what the hell? Oh my god. What a flex. <laughs> Yo, you know what's tripping me out about Trisha? How she's like in everything? She was in Nathan for you. Did you know that? No, I Because I, I watched that's like my favorite show ever, and I watched it uh before I knew anything about Trisha. Hold on, let me show you. Oh, this is so And we keep saying she's been in every show and it's like she was literally the, so she was the remember how he had that show about the security guard who loves big tits yeah she was the big titted uh, girl that he fell in love with <laughs> let me show you here look oh, is remember. that the one the like game machine in the uh <laughs> is that crazy the game machine it's about a security guard who gets distracted whenever he sees a girl with big tits and um <laughs> And it's a reality. He's pitching a reality show about this guy because he's so interesting. <laughs> uh, so she's so, yeah, she's everywhere. Uh, sex during quarantine. It's pretty much the only thing that I can do at this moment. Um, but yeah, I also have been doing my OnlyFans, which I think is really popping right now. I yada, yada, to talk to yada. Well. Okay, OnlyFans, I get it. But, but again, it's like, he goes, and then this is from just like so recent. Uh, here. Why do you have to post pics on Twitter? Just keep it private. Here she is with Moses. Yeah. This is from March thirty first. Theodore's aunt is the top comment. <laughs> you know, it's not disrespect. People are saying it's disrespectful. It's not necessarily disrespectful. It's just weird that nobody's telling us what is going on you cannot do you know what i'm saying it's like if they, if like like why is nobody telling me what's going on <laughs> it's your fucking brother we see so we talk to Eli's brother like all the time he's over at our house like every weekend yeah i, I knew that except and now so, because of the quarantine yeah. he's not so. so that's his new family <laughs> sometime later Trisha initiated hostilities by posting a video on her channel titled H3 Ruined My Relationship, in which she accused Ethan and Gila of trying to sabotage her relationship with Moses. She began to turn against them over making a big deal publicly out of her dating Moses, arguing that it was ruining their relationship. Trisha. Yes, Trisha Paytas, the one and only, puts out a video. I was like, man, this is way too much for me. Shit. She puts out a video called H3 Ruined My Relationship. <laughs> I was like, what in God's name? This shit is out of control, man. I cannot believe what this shit has turned into with Trisha. Can you believe this shit? No, I can't. Yes, the I, can. I keep. I Dan keep, can believe it. I keep remembering the last time we saw her, I was sitting That's next great. to her in our podcast room. Everything was nice. She wanted to fuck us. I was a 10 back then. <laughs> yeah. Remember that? <laughs> she wanted a thruple. Um Thruple. Yeah. You said truple. It's my accent. <laughs> <laughs> Say thruple. Thruple. Oh, you have, yeah. I, you have, I can't do the TH. That was good. Say thruple. But it feels weird. Let's try it. Just try it. Thruple. Thruple. Is that like when I'm speaking here when I go, yeah. and everyone goes, say, <laughs> I'm like, I'm not going <laughs> to. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly how it feels. Interesting. Even after all this time, you can't, or it yeah. still feels weird. Mm -hmm. hmm. Wow, just derailed that point you were making. <laughs> um, You were saying you were sitting next to her, and it was all good. It was all good. Um, we had a good vibe going. We complimented each other. She loved us. She was saying we're her new best friend. It's just weird. I don't get it. And since then, we never talked, so I don't even know what the hell. Well, she she started fucking your brother. 
<laughs> Straight up, that's what happened. And it's just she goes on and she says, honestly, her video's so fucking long, dude. She needs an editor, bro. Thirty three <laughs> minutes. I mean, dude, come on. I know I just said I made a thirty seven minute video, but I really feel like she's lost the plot here. Like this is like a three minute video. Cause she she basically says that um we are pressuring Moses to break up with her, which really not is true. not the pit. My problem with this thing from the beginning, which I've clearly vocalized here, is that I don't know what is happening. All I ever saw was that all of a sudden Moses is in all of her pictures and videos. And I'm yeah. like, what? Also, we've said to both of them, my brother follows the show, so he also knows, but to Trisha, we told her what happened last time with The Bachelor. We talked about it on the show. And we said how there was a wild card and that ended the show. So we said, whatever happens, just tell us. Right. But that makes, see, yeah, uh, that's true. But, but it's then got, we never I heard anything. I don't care about the show, right? No, fine. Just, but I'm saying it's... like we just never never even heard anything. Well, yeah. All I saw was a pi them in a picture together. And what, well, what really, what bothers me is that the worlds are colliding. Your brother's <laughs> yes. someone that we're very closest that we see all the time. And Trisha is one of the subjects of our pop, one of the, like, we're having, like, a huge Trisha arc right now. Yeah, lots of, uh... <laughs> and so for these worlds I to collide, know. I mean, it's it's Ela's brother. Do you understand how weird that is? This girl that we're all, that's, like, I've, I've had beef with Trisha, and now all of a sudden her <laughs> brother is, in, is, like, her best friend? I mean, this yes. is just so strange. Anyone okay? who watches Seinfeld knows the words should not collide. <laughs> Anyway, so I saw this response on her YouTube video that I thought was great. They says, "Oh, and then of course uh, Keemstar, the ever uh, truth uh, pursuer of truth. He like he's so desperate to shit on me. He'll goes. He he even tweets out her video in defense of Trisha. Oh, oh he's such a. I forget what he said. He goes, "Oh yeah, he's such a snake. This is totally something he would do. It's like, bro, when you find yourself." <laughs> Tweeting in defense of Trisha saying I ruined her relationship. That's rock bottom. Desperation. Um, Keemstar will never miss an opportunity to swing at me. And um, and that's fine. Uh, anyway, they say, post a, they says, she posts a picture with him, posts about how much sex they're having, gets obsessed with his religion, right? Because she made like a all these Passover videos and Hebrew speaking videos, post videos teaching people Hebrew, post videos eating sacred Jewish food in a messy and uneducated way, post really rude things about the dude's brother-in-law on Twitter. Dude can't even take a shit without her following him around. To most people, that would scream red flag and make them run for the hills. But no, it was H3 that ruined your uh, affair. Okay, girl, keep it up. Proud of you. <laughs> That's a great point, right? What is that, a comment? It was a comment on our video. But what I said is like, I, you don't need any help ruining relationships from me. And maybe that was mean, but I was a little annoyed on top of everything. Uh, well, how am I supposed to feel about this, by the way? Trisha Paytas and this video she made with Moses. So I'm, gonna, I'm supposed to just let them be, right? Your brother is hanging out with her. Somebody said in a comment, this is the exact inverse of Ethan and Ela. Ethan is more talkative and is the one that likes to eat food, whereas Ela is thinner and quiet and eats healthier. Trisha is more talkative and likes to eat. She's basically saying you're, you guys, I'm Trisha and you're your brother. <laughs> and they're. So, so she responds. She says, ne in all caps, never compare me to that thing ever again with 100 exclamation marks. So how am I supposed to feel? It's like, do you want, do you want your space? Do you guys want to do your own thing? Or do you want me to talk about you guys? And to your brother, I pose that same question because he's there hanging out with her like it's all good. But like, am I not supposed to acknowledge comments like this? I don't know. I don't know. And by the way, Trisha, your fucking mask has holes in it. So what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> your quarant your mask has like me is made of mesh. I mean, that's so stupid. Wait, is it really? What or is yes. it just polka dots? No, I, sw I swear to God, those are holes. I'm zooming in. <laughs> Maybe it's bedazzled. <laughs> <laughs> is it holes? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? This Later, in the second episode of After Dark, still in their basement, Ethan and Gila announced they had reconnected with Trisha. 
It seemed they had discussed more behind the scenes, and they explained that the frustrating part of Trisha and Moses' relationship was how secretive and enigmatic it had been for them. However, in the end, they accepted the relationship and were happy for them. They just wished they had been kept more in the loop, rather than finding out about everything through social media. There's a lot of requests for a Trisha Moses update. <coughs> well... <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna let the... Trish should I just get? Should I just spill Moses. the beans? Trish and Moses. Should I just spill the fucking beans? Wait, what kind of bean? Uh, the big bean. The big no. bean. No. Okay. You don't want to spill the big bean. You can I spill the do. garbanzo bean. <laughs> well, we're gonna have Trisha on soon, but they're actually doing well. I have to say, it seems like they're we happily dating, and so that they're actually just a couple. <laughs> and so I just kind of I'm been forced to accept that. I don't know I if this is. I'm a, happy for them. I just, I think the biggest problem was <clears throat> the confusion around everything the whole time. The secrecy, the confusion. Yeah. Well, right. Moses kept denying it to you guys, right? And then you yeah, see he pictures would say, of them together. Yeah, he would go, "We're just friends," and then all of a sudden they make a TikTok together where, where or, she's a, voicing a 12 year old girl. <laughs> you remember that shit? It's so weird. And Moses is like, "Daddy, disciplining 12 year old." I mean. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, they're dating, He's so I'm happy for them. Now, now who's yeah. the liar now? I, I I don't know if this I, is just uh, happy for them, and um, they actually sound really cute together. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, I have I to admit <laughs> that there's some weird actual chemistry between the two of them. Somehow, it's wild. <clears throat> but we're gonna, she's gonna come on. We're gonna talk about it in more detail. But when he told us, we realized season two worked out that again. That's the right. epiphany. The Bachelor is so far 100% successful. <laughs> <clears throat> you never know what's going to happen baby. on this show. Think about it. Ian is now dating Sam, who moved cross country to be with him. They live together now. Moses <clears throat> and Trisha. Uh, this is a love connection that would have never happened in a billion years. But through yeah. the magic of, of the H3 Bachelor... We've we've forged two successful impossible loves. <laughs> Clap those cheeks. Yeah. So I think that's pretty exciting. Moreover, it was at the end of this episode that Ethan teased an exciting announcement. Ultimately, he didn't reveal it and decided to wait. But it's obvious that they already had the idea to create frenemies with Trisha. But we're going to have her on. We're going to talk about it. And... Uh... There's actually some really other exciting news, but these guys are saying I can't announce it. Well, you gotta live some stuff. Show your whole hand. Yeah. No? Why not? They're saying no. They're vetoing, guys. Sorry. <laughs> but you'll find out soon enough. But it's good. It's exciting. Indeed, a few weeks later, the first episode of Frenemies was released, where the main topic of conversation was Trisha and Moses' relationship. This was significant because Ethan would finally have the chance to have a one-on-one -on -one discussion with her about it, given that the lockdown prevented them from seeing each other since Trisha's last appearance on the podcast. Tell, explain to me why you're dating my brother-in-law. Nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> well, obviously you do. About any of the bullshit you're talking about other than that. Oh, oh, really? Why I are you dating my brother-in-law? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can I tell you the truth? Like, honestly... Yes. Because, like, at first it was, like, I just thought it was just, like, funny. I was like, oh, my God, this is going to be so funny. Like, I just, like, fuck him, and then like, I'm coming back on the podcast. Like, aha, I fucked your brother. <laughs> yeah. And? Yeah. That's it? I mean, that's how it started, for sure. So do you usually fuck people out of just to make a joke? It's kind yeah. Of... Well, no, not always, but, like, yeah. Like, sometimes to be like, oh, I fucked this person. It's, like, funny. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So Mo so you fucked Moses for a joke, <laughs> but then you found out that he, that he was much more than a joke to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're going to be buying a house together, so it's a success. And you guys are... So at first, well, you know, at first I was like, what's going on? This is all making me very uncomfortable because <laughs> I kept... Mo Moses kept popping up in your socials mm -hmm. and not telling us. So mm -hmm. I was like, what the fuck's going on? I don't know why that. Honestly, I don't know why that. I was like, why don't you just tell them like... Well, that I agree with because he made it way worse by not telling mm, us. Yeah, because we, because <laughs> we like definitely were like the first two weeks of quarantine just attached at the hip for sure. And then he had a traumatic <laughs> event at his house, so then he just like, I'm like, we should just stay here forever, and that's what happened. Um, we've had like two like, well, it's not really breakups, but we've had like two ish like times where we like stopped talking to each other, but we got back to each other. So. Yeah, you guys had a couple blow ups. 
Did we? How do you know? He said it? Told you? Uh, yes. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you actually were the reason of our first breakup. Break up. We weren't dating, but we were. Yeah, we you were made home. a fuck. You made this hysterical video about how I was trying to sabotage your relationship. Yeah, because in the thing, you literally, we watched it together. And I was like, oh, my, you're like, oh, yeah, he said, you said he was applying as a goof. And I was like, is that true? You applied as a joke? Yeah, you just said you fucked him as a joke. Okay, Why are you but- offended? <laughs> Like, that seems way worse. He's like, hey, I'm just going to apply as a joke. But then he's like, oh, I like her. And you're like, I'm just going to fuck him as a joke to spite them. I mean, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. Right. Yes. So so how is it that I sabotaged your relationship? Because that whole episode, like, you just were like, oh, like, I think he's embarrassed that he likes her. Like, it was supposed to be a joke. Like, it was well, all the stuff where I was thinking, like, oh, is he, like, playing me? Like, you know what I mean? So you ruined it at the beginning. Well... I blame Moses for not telling us what the fuck was up because the whole thing was weird. And then, well, at the same time, he's going to go on your social media and then, like, <laughs> our fans see that. So, obviously, we have to address it. You think they see it? Your social media? Yeah. yeah. It's all over our subreddit and everything. It's like mm. these these two cl- these two guys making, like, super cringy TikToks. <laughs> First of all, they're not cringy. They're definitely not cringy. But, <gasps> oh, my gosh. Really? Yeah. They, they don't like your TikToks either. What were they barking at? I won't dive too deeply into all the episodes of Frenemies, as I think there have been plenty of videos discussing it. But just to highlight that in episode one, how central the topic of Trisha's relationship with Moses was. This relationship would be mentioned in many other episodes of Frenemies, but from that point on, Trisha and Moses were dating publicly, so it was no longer a secret. And Ethan and Gila had since given them their blessing, now that they've had time to adjust to the idea. Go. Uh, anyone. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. The, first of all, TikToks are good, but I get more insulted when they say that we're the inverted version of you and Ela. <laughs> like, yeah, I see that too. <laughs> don't compare me to Ethan. I think just because Moses is like, um, I guess they're both kind of like understated, maybe, or whatever that means. Just quiet. Yeah, quieter. <laughs> well, and everyone's quiet compared to you, to be honest. Not you. And they're skinny. And I just think right. we're like a little like chubby or so that's the comparison. Like just because we're like heavy and they're like, oh, they're, so you guys they have a type. <laughs> right. Well, that's true. Um, <laughs> let me. So okay. you guys have been that's dating. Mm-hmm. You guys are now living together. I mean, what the fuck? Is, aren't you guys moving a little fast? Well, he has his museum still. He has a museum. So he like goes works there. But yeah, every night we're together. You guys sleep together. You guys are together every night and he's moved shit into your apartment. I mean, he has like five shirts. So. <laughs> Yes, but all five shirts are at my yeah, house. Yeah, five shirts. <laughs> but now he has and money now you too, guys are, so we wait. can like buy a house together, like a big fancy one, because he has like money. So <clears> it's <throat> the first person I ha- like ever dated that has like money and good credit. How the? F- I mean, aren't you worried just because your relationships generally don't last very long? Buying mm-hmm. a house together seems like a drastic move. Mm, this is my like longest consistent. How long has it been? It's only been a couple months. Six months. Six months today, right? Yeah. Six months a day? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Today! Oh! oh six months a day! You guys are so weird. Moses is here, by the way, because he brought her. And that's the end of how Trisha ruined the second season of The Bachelor, and in doing so, ended up marrying and having children with Moses. If you're keen to see a video on how Ian spoiled the first season of The Bachelor, please leave a like to show your interest, as it would require a lot of research. Also, don't hesitate to share this video to other H3 fans that are looking for content during the break. I'm already working on my next lore video, so stay tuned for that. And if you'd like to support the creation of future videos, you can become a channel member for the price of a coffee, or support me on Patreon or my Ko-fi page. It really helps me find more time to create these videos. And a huge thanks to Hufflebubbles, Sarah Boggs, Marisol, Mary Flores, Alicia D. and Cosmic Horror Grace, who directly supported this video. Thanks for watching.